What's up, Juventini? Alberto here. Got all your UV news. All right, we got the details on Bremer's release clause. And today, Tuto Sport reports that there is a cancellation clause that Juve could put into effect. Is this the missing piece, the missing link we've all been waiting for to make sense of it all? We're going to take a look at it. But the center back rumors continue. We've got all of that and the rest of the transfer rumors. Two youngsters at Juventus heading for permanent sales this summer, according to Mirko Di Natale. And of course, Max's presser ahead of the game tomorrow tomorrow against Lazio as we get set to return to action. All right, so like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is the AJC. Let's rock. First things first, Glayson Bremer, the news that broke out yesterday. Well, late last night, Nico Skira came out with the details. It is, in fact, 70 million euro release clause. All right, that kicks in July of 2025. There is a 10% sell-on fee that goes to Torino for anything over 40 million euros. Today, Tuto Sport reports that there is a cancellation clause in there that Juve has the power to kick in if a club were to come in with that offer, all right? And... How do they do that? Well, the cancellation clause apparently is ramping up the salary to a predetermined number that came from Bremer, his entourage, and Juventus that they all agreed upon. So Juventus could eventually put a halt on the move. So is this... The missing link. Is this the missing piece that makes it all make sense right now around this Bremer release clause? You could easily say yes, because they ultimately have the final say, the final decision. However, are clubs and is Juventus going to hold a player back against their will if a club were to come in with an offer and say he says yes i agree i want to move there are you going to kick that in furthermore are you going to ramp up that salary when the entire project so far in terms of the cleanup has been bringing the annual cost down that was the main purpose in extending glazen bremer in the first place was to bring your annual cost down 1.5 million euros i can't imagine that this salary is going to be a very small increase so for me it really doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. And I see it as a whole lot of nothing. I think that still, if a club came in, ultimately, the way we've set it up, we have taken away our leverage in terms of negotiating. And the power is all on Bremer now. So I don't think this cancellation clause means much of anything agree disagree hit me in the comments meanwhile the transfer rumors continue to swirl about uv essentially preparing for life after bremer and we're getting all sorts of names usmane diomande we've heard his name a week ago it is back in the mix sporting center back all right then you've got lacroix of wolfsburg the 23 year old defender who has been compared to varani in terms of physicality and reading of the game he can also play right back he's got a contract that expires in 2025 his price tag is around 25 million euros and that presents an opportunity for Juventus potentially however multiple sources claim that Juntoli's dream should we move on from Bremer is Buongiorno all right so from one ex-Torino player to another Torino player Buongiorno remains being listed as the dream signing for Juntoli is he your dream replacement for Glayson Bremer hit me in the comments all right as far as some other Mercado news Zaccagni apparently has given the green light to his entourage to negotiate a potential transfer with Juventus the player does have one more year under his contract and I'm not so sure sure Lotito's moving him this summer if he's coming to us might have to wait till he becomes free but of course you have to lay it we have to just wait and see how this all plays out but I could easily see Lotito doing that all right now as far as some rumors come in from Mirko Di Natale he says that Juve is evaluating the sales of two youngsters. One is Nonje, who apparently has interest from Monaco and Nizza in Ligue 1. Then you have Illing Jr., Bologna and Atalanta are the two teams in Italy interested. And then you have Fulham and Tottenham out of the English Premier League that are interested in the player. And apparently all signs, according to Mirko Di Natale, point at those two players being sold outright. Okay, now we get news on Yildiz and it is that he is the cornerstone for Juventus and their future, both technically and as far as image importance goes, a branding marketing type thing. Apparently, Juve wants to renew this player beyond 2027 and increase his wages and give him the number 10. 
Pump the brakes. Can we just relax? Can we just relax? Let's focus on getting him integrated more, getting him more minutes and everything. We've got him to 2027. Relax. There is no rush to push all of this. Absolutely no rush in my opinion. Take it easy. Pump the brakes, all right? A little too much hype. Let's get these guys working. Let's start getting players earning their keep, all right? I say pump the brakes. Hit me in the comments, all right? Now, we get to Keen. All rumors point to a sale, and everyone is saying he is far from Juventus. Look for his sale this summer, all right? Now, we get to Max's presser ahead of the game tomorrow against Lazio. We, are, of course, are going to be live, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, and yes, there will be a watch along tomorrow for the Lazio match, all right? But Max says, Illing Jr. has played a lot this year disagree but he says uh there was a small period where he wasn't getting minutes but he has shown some positive growth he has always backed him he likes him and uh illing jr will have to be uh, an important figure going down the stretch here as we look to finish with these remaining nine games keen will start tomorrow all right so allegri confirms moise keen will start tomorrow as far as the team he says we just must re remain calm all right, and we need to end with enthusiasm and absolutely have to qualify for the Champions League. He says Lazio is going to be very difficult. There will be a new coach stimulus from Tudor, and Tudor leads his sides in a very aggressive manner. We must be ready. 59 points will not be enough. 70 points is still the target, Max says, to reach Champions League qualification. And of course, there are some direct clashes in there that will play into effect. Asked about the whole situation, the criticisms, everything in Scanavino's words. And he said he was happy with Scanavino's words because he represents the club. He says results matter. And when you win, you're a good guy. When you lose, you're a bad guy. So results do matter. We had a good first round, but the lads had a bad second round. Football gives you the opportunity to turn things around, and we must take the chance and reverse things and get back to winning. That is Max's presser. That is your news update to the day, everybody. You guys know the drill. Like the video, subscribe, share the content. Hope you enjoyed the video, but let me know your thoughts in the comments all right and let's get into it the main question right now around juventini is is this a mismanagement on glazen bremer is this a red flag for juntoli all right hit me in the comments let's mix it up and don't forget to join us live tomorrow morning fino alla fine forza juve ciao tutti